This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purposes. So hello guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, we'll be taking a look on the new tool from Project Discovery, which is CV Map, which is completely dedicated to a CV. So make sure to take a look on this video till end. But before in the video, we are having few announcements here. We are having two new courses, the Android Bug Bounty Batch, that you guys were asking from a very long time that you want to learn how to find vulnerabilities in APKs. So yes, here is the course. Just take a look on all these contents. And rather than that, we are having one more course, the most in-demand course of our weapon testing section, which is Advanced Bug Bounty course. So in this course, you'll be taking a look on how to find bugs from a very extensive level, from a very extreme level. So make sure to take a look on all these contents too. So these are the two courses that are available for registration and almost 50% of their seats are sold out. So make sure to take a look on them. So let's get in the video. So here we are on our computer screen now. So first of all, let's take a look on the GitHub page of the new tool. And as you can see that this is a CV map by Project Discovery. So in the previous video, we have seen that how to discover CV using Twitter. So we are having this way efficient thing for it. So let's use this installation is very simple using this we can install so here we are having our specific terminal let's use the go install i hope you can see that so it's installed now let's move it to the global location so here we have the we are done with the moving it so let's take a look how does this work so it looks something like this let's say let's do a cv map a cv map hyphen h and here is the help menu for it so after installing the tool, we have to configure the API. I have my API from this Google Chrome page. You guys can simply do this thing. So I'll just paste it and successfully logged in as the email I used. After configuring all these things, we got this very good thing named the CV map successfully installed. So I guess this would be a game changer in the field of bug bounties in my opinion. And why do I say that? Let's take a look here. So it is having a lot of options like uh, we can say we are having the ID string, CV or vendor, product, right? We can find or specify what we are actually looking for. So if I go with CV map hyphen V, which stands for vendor. <clears throat> so technically here we are looking for a specific vendor. Suppose I'm a Cisco portal, so I will just go for Cisco. Yep, here I'm having the Cisco. And one more thing, these are not all the CVs. There's a limit of display which is 50 I can just increase it to let's say 150 maybe 200 so I'll get 200 CVs of Cisco ever available so yes you can use this to get your more detailed results along with the P hyphen product if we just go like Jenkins yes I have a lot of CVs for Jenkins too and let's take a look on this this is the CV ID the CVSS score, severities, EPSS, the product, the age in days, and the template. So when there is a tick mark right on it, it means yes, there is a template. And when there is a X, there is no template. So this thing really matters. Along with that, we can do a lot of stuff on it too. If I just go to the map again. 
So yes, here we are given the hyphen S as critical, which stands for severity, and yeah, we got all the high severity ones. Also, we can give the score here. So let's take a look on it. What we use for score? So we can use you know uh, hyphen C as for sever uh, C V S as a score. So yes, we do this thing. C V S to exclude based on product. We can do excluding and all this stuff. So technically, in short, this tool is very efficient for finding and exploiting CVs based on the data you have. So when you're testing for web application, we are usually having a data which is a set of services or maybe which might be a you know just a dashboard, and we don't know what to do with that. So yes, this would be a very helpful in that one. And this thing is very important: the query search and all these things. So we are having a lot of data like. Okay, we are having a bug, but we don't know the POC's references and explanations for it. So if we just go with CV map, I'm using a hyphen ID for a very old CV, which is 3580, uh, 2020, 3580, and I'll just do enter here. It will give me that yeah, it belongs to it. So medium severity, post based access because I know that. Let me just do hyphen JSON for it. So as you guys can see, I have a lot of things here, right? Aging days, assignee. Is there a template for it? True. Yes. So where is the nuclear template? On this location. Template path. That's good. Now, these are the POCs. You can simply just right-click on it and go to the POCs and take a look on them. That's a very good thing. Then the references are here. We got the weakness here, the CVSS score here. This would be a very good one to just make some reports in that case. Then the description here. So as I say, it was a post with XSS. We can do that. Let's do the same for the latest CV, which was 23. Uh, not the latest. It was of a Juniper. So 36845. That was the CV. So you can see the Juniper thing. Right, vendor advisories, nuclear template, yes, there is a template for it. These are all the POCs you will need and POCs are very helpful in these cases because when you're not able to find a lot of exploits, this will help a lot. Now, as obvious, references are here. All the scores, the description and the CV ID itself. So yes, we can definitely use this in a lot of things. Now, the main thing I would like to mention is it might seem to not that useful in just a glance, but yes, it will help a lot when you are hunting on real life programs, right? You will having a lot of scenarios when you just want to take a look on CVs. So this will help you a lot on that cases. So make sure this is just the intro. You will explore this tool by your own. If there is something that should be added, just drop it down in the comment section. I'll be taking a look on that. And thanks for the discovery for making this tool and helping all the bug bounders of a security community. That was for the video. Thanks for watching and have a great day everyone. And don't forget to check out the links in the description.